Hi, I'm Millicent Walker. Here's your Channel TV Evening News recap for November the 5th, 2021. The Federal High Court in Abuja has stopped the federal government from executing its plan to deduct $418 million from the bank account of the 36 states of the Federation. Justice Ian Gekwo issued a restraining order against the federal government on Friday following an ex parte application brought by the consuls to the 36 states, Jibril Okutepa and Ahmed Raji. Moving to political matters, as stakeholders mobilised for the governorship election in Anambra State, major roads and streets in Oka, the state capital, have been deserted. During a tour of the state capital by Tunnels Television's crew Friday, only a few people were seen on the streets, especially in places that used to be crowded. Meanwhile, the Vice President, Professor Yamir Shibajo, says he has no connection with the land or the high-rise building that collapsed when under construction on Gerard Road in Ikoyi, Lagos. A report by a media outfit had suggested that Oshibajo owned the land upon which the collapsed building stood. On the international scene, Swedish campaigner Greta Thunberg has branded the UN Climate Summit in Glasgow a failure after a week of negotiations produced what some experts have called vague promises to cut emissions. And in sports, Barcelona are set to announce Xavi Hernandez's dramatic return to the club as coach after Al Saad confirmed on Friday a deal has been agreed between the clubs. And that's the Evening News Recap. Don't forget to join us tomorrow for fresh updates. I'm Minnesota Walker. Thank you for watching.